Yo, what's up everybody? In this video, I am going to be covering a fragrance that is known as a gourmand fragrance, which means you're going to be smelling sweet and delicious. So stay tuned. Yo, what's up everybody? Bobby here and welcome to the Twilly's Two Cents channel. And please go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell because now you will be alerted when I get to upload new content for you guys and your support is always appreciated. So let's hop into the video. So the fragrance that I'm going to be discussing in the video today is a fragrance called Imperial and it's by Navitus Parfums. And before we get into the presentation, I would like to get into this little card right here. This card came in a box and on this card you have the names of the creative direction of this fragrance which is Steven. I'm not going to mess your last name up so I'm just going to show that. So you have the creative direction from Steven. The perfumers that you have for this fragrance is Francis Kirk John and Jerome DiMarino. Okay, so let's jump into the presentation. The box. Of course, with all niche brands, I like to keep the box. This is a pretty sleek box. This is a look slide off cover. I like the black and gold. And of course, with this box, it lifts up to reveal the fragrance which is a beautiful dark red with gold accented bottle. So this bottle has a pretty good weight to it. Uh, pretty good weight to the cap as well. Uh, not as snug of a cap as I would like it to be, but still definitely you don't want to try to pick this up by the cap alone because it will fall off like that. But other than that, uh, pretty good bottle. Of course, I like the color and the atomizer on this is pretty widespread and it's pretty, you know, you get a pretty decent amount of spray for, with each spray. So you can see what I mean by this. Okay. Look at that. This dream is just continuously going one more time. Man, you can cover a lot of ground with that. So just by spraying that, I'm starting to get a lot of the notes that's in this fragrance and one thing that I can say about this is that it stings the nostrils upon the initial spray. So let's get ready to hop into the notes. So as with the Navratus Parfum fragrances, when you get the fragrance, they come with this card in the box. I'm not sure all of them are like that. I only have a few fragrances from the brand, but the ones that I have so far, they all come with the card that includes the perfumers and the notes that's in the fragrance. So let's cover some of those notes. In the top notes, we have Brazilian orange. We have a plum accord. In the hard notes, we have a cocoa scones accord, Venezuelan tonka, and a suede accord. In the base notes, we have Java vetiver, birch tar, and guyac wood. So the notes that stands out to me to most in this fragrance will be the orange, the plum, the tonka, and the uh, cocoa scones. I don't know if you ever had scones, but to me, scones is kind of like a a dessert type uh, bread that's kind of similar to cornbread, but it's not. It's sweeter than that, and you get flavors like chocolate scones and stuff of that nature. And it, this definitely reminds me of scones. So, as far as when this comes to spraying it on your skin, like I said, upon the initial spray, you get that kind of thing that that stings the nostrils, stings the nostrils. Not really sure what it is, but it's there. But after that point, you definitely get the sweetness and you would definitely pick up on the cocoa scones and the tonka. This fragrance is one that is great for the fall and winter time. And I also believe that you can definitely get away with this during the evening times and the summer and spring time, but definitely not in the high heat. This is something that you want to wear when it's cool outside, or like I said, in the evening times when you're going out on a date night. Once this uh, dries down the skin scent part of this, it's still wonderful. You're still going to get that sweetness. You're still going to smell like a dessert. You know, if you don't mind, if you really like smelling like something that's sweet, that dessert type nature, you would definitely love this one. So when it comes to the longevity of this fragrance, I give this fragrance about the height of it around four to six hours. After that, you have to try a little bit hard to smell it, but you can still notice that it's there. This fragrance was released this year, and I do believe that this is a unisex fragrance. Both men and women 
can definitely rock this. Uh, you can definitely, you can dress this up, you can dress it down. This is something that is going to have you smelling delicious and you will definitely be asked like, what is that that you're wearing? So when it comes to giving this fragrance a rating, on the recommendation scale, I would have to give this fragrance a 8.5. I definitely like this fragrance. For me personally, I would like it to be a little bit stronger, even though this is an a straight to parfum fragrance. I would like to get a little bit more something that pops off of the skin to where people can notice it around like three to four feet away and have a uh, bit of a bit more of a sillage to it but other than that it's a fantastic smelling fragrance i'm glad that i have it and this is one of the top gourmands that i do have so kudos to steven and the red lessons channel really enjoying this one and yeah that's about it for this fragrance thanks for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed yet Please go ahead and subscribe, click the notification bell, and if you enjoyed the video also, leave me a like or dislike, drop some comments, you know, stuff like that. And also, check out one of these videos.